it's Aubrey. Today's video, we are doing an extreme grocery budget challenge where we are making seven dinners for $20 with only using a few pantry ingredients, including salt, pepper, uh, cooking fat, whether that's oil or butter, and then a few other pantry seasonings, and then everything else that we're getting, we're getting under $20. Come with me to the store and let's see what we can make. Are you happy to help mama? Should we get some noodles? Okay, we're gonna get routine. 92 cents. Are you being my helper? Can you say hi? No? Okay. Here is everything in my cart right before we went to checkout. I'm hoping we stayed under budget, so let's go ring all of this up to see if we did. We stayed in budget. Let's take this home and talk about the meals. So I just got back from Walmart, and here are the groceries that we got. You saw the total for everything was $19.92. And so let me show you what we got. So for just under $20, this is what we got. We got some bread to dip into the soups that we'll be making, some carrots, potatoes, celery, some of these onions. Those were like the fresh ingredients. And we also have some chicken, some diced tomatoes. I went with the one with the green pepper, celery, and onion because I thought it would go well with one of the soups that we're gonna make some rotini for another soup, some rice, and then I got this Cajun 15 bean soup. I was planning on just getting the normal one, but this one was cheaper and it sounds really good. So I think that will go well with this smoked sausage that we got that we're gonna use for two dinners. So my plan for these groceries are to make the following meals. I'm gonna be making a chicken drumstick and rice bake. We're gonna have drumsticks and baked potatoes for one night. We're gonna do a chicken noodle soup, a rice and chicken soup, the 15 bean soup with sausage. And then we're also going to have a bake where it's the sausage, carrots, and potatoes. I'm also gonna make my own chicken broth and we'll show you how to do that. And then for one of the night's dinners, we're gonna have leftovers. So I am really excited about those groceries that we got and I think we're gonna make some really delicious meals this week that I feel like will be attainable for anybody. I know the prices of food have gone up quite a bit in the last little bit and every area is different. Hopefully you can find some good deals on things in your area and try and keep it simple, especially this time of year where money might be a little bit tighter and hopefully this gives you some great ideas. Let's get cooking. We're gonna make this 15 bean Cajun soup. Um, we're gonna kind of loosely follow this. I found another recipe online that can like work without having the lemon. So anyways, we're gonna do that. Well, let's get cooking. I also think we're probably just gonna make a half bag because that would be a lot of soup and we already have some leftovers. We're gonna take a tablespoon or so of butter. You can also use oil. We're gonna get that melted in our instant pot and then we're gonna put in half of a white onion. Again, I am making a half batch of this. We got that cooking with some garlic as well that I had left over from a meal box kit. Added in four cups of water and then half of my bag of the 15 bean soup. I rinsed it to make sure there weren't any rocks in there. And then we're gonna add in half of the seasoning packet. Let's give that all a good stir. Put on our lid which sometimes it's a struggle, but we got it on. Make sure the knob is turned to ceiling, and then we'll go ahead and set this for 40 to 45 minutes. While the soup is cooking, we're gonna brown our sausage, and we're also going to cook some rice, because I think this will taste really good over that, and it'll also bulk up the meal. I let this slowly release naturally by itself for about 10 minutes, and then let the rest of the steam out. Once that was all out, I added in my sausage and gave this a good stir. And then we added in half of a can of some diced tomatoes that you saw 
earlier. I pureed it a little bit because I don't love tomato chunks. You can definitely just dump it in as is. Then we gave this one more quick stir and look how tasty this is. It was amazing. The rice makes it kind of feel like a red beans and rice dish with the Cajun seasoning. I didn't add any salt to this because the recipe didn't call for any, but I would add some. This was so good. We'll be making it again soon. This next one is a chicken and rice bake, and oh my goodness, this one was so delicious. I first added about a tablespoon or so of butter to my baking dish, as well as a half an onion and two cloves of garlic. And then now we're going to mix up our seasoning mix while the onions, garlic, and butter are in the oven as it's preheating. We're going to add a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, and then some thyme. I'll be sure to have this recipe linked down below for you. I just made a half recipe. And then we're also going to add some salt and pepper. And then we're going to put the chicken into this little baking dish. Hindsight, probably should have done a bigger baking dish or something more shallow, but we're just going to make sure that the seasonings get all over our drumsticks. Now that the butter and onion and garlic have sat in the oven for about 10 minutes, we're going to pull it out and put in our cup of rice. And next we will add all of our chicken drumsticks onto the top. Then we'll go ahead and add in our chicken broth. You can also just use water. I had a little bit of bouillon mix available to me, so that's what I used here. Then we're going to cover it and bake it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we'll take the tin foil off and then we'll bake it for another 5 to 10 minutes. Look at how tasty this looks. This is seriously something I'm still thinking about. That rice was so buttery and flavorful. Definitely recommend it for you. So tonight we are going to have some drumsticks, baked potatoes, and some steamed carrots. Let's get cooking. So we're going to put our potatoes that I washed and stabbed into the oven while it's preheating to 400 degrees. We're going to go ahead and spray our pans and then we're going to make the spice rub that we are putting on the chicken. We're going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil, a teaspoon of thyme, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of onion powder, and a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then about a teaspoon and a half of salt, and a half teaspoon of pepper. We're going to give this a nice stir to make sure all of the spices are well combined in the oil, and then we'll go ahead and add all of our chicken drumsticks to the pans, and we will use our little fun kitchen tool here to go ahead and put the rub on all of the drumsticks and make sure they're well coated. We'll put those in the oven with the potatoes 400 degrees for 30 minutes and while that is cooking I'm also going to steam some carrots on the stove. I just got the chicken out of the oven. It looks and smells delicious what we're going to do is we're going to eat a couple of the drumsticks tonight and then the other drumsticks we're going to just peel all the meat off and then we're going to make some broth with the bones for our soups later this week and then we're going to use the chicken for some other soups as well. But they are looking extra tasty. I'm excited to eat these. Here is what my plate looked like. These turned out really good. I loved this seasoning blend and these carrots were delicious. Since I'm gonna be making chicken broth, I am going to save these bones and any of the veggie scraps that I have and I'm just gonna put them to this bag and then we will make broth in a day or so. Now that all of the chicken is cooked, we're going to take all of the meat off of the bones and we're gonna also remove any fat and skin. We're going to put all of the meat into this Tupperware container and all of the bones into a bag and then we'll just leave the fat and skin in this container. Here's how much meat we ended up with and here are all of the bones. This is going to make some amazing chicken broth. I'm making the chicken broth in my crock pot. We're going to add in an onion, 
a carrot that was a loose one and some bones as well as some smashed garlic and then we will be adding in all of the celery tops for my big bunch of celery and about a cup of carrots we're going to salt this generously probably a tablespoon or so and then give it some pepper as well probably around a teaspoon and a half Next, we'll add in 12 cups of water. You can just add it until your crock pot is almost full if you don't have as big of one as I do. And then we'll go ahead and turn it to low and let this cook all night. So I've had this chicken broth going for a little over 18 hours. I had it go all overnight and then through most of the work day, I am going to strain this out and then we'll go ahead and set aside what we need for the upcoming soups for this week. And we will go from there, but it smells delicious. I wish you guys could smell it. Seriously, so good. If you haven't made your own chicken broth before, I definitely recommend doing so. It's really easy, doesn't take a lot of effort at all, and it makes those homemade soups taste even better. So we're going to remove all of the big chunks first and just put those straight into the trash. And then I'm slowly going to scoop some of the broth out before dumping the rest through my strainer. I'll have this one linked down below in case you're looking for one like it. So now that that's all done, you can definitely like use a cheesecloth or whatever to try and get the fat out. I don't mind it because it's not that fatty. It may look kind of fatty, but like the base of it really isn't. It's just this top layer a little bit. So there's our chicken broth. We'll go ahead and use that in the next couple of soups I will be making. So now we are going to make chicken noodle stew. This is how I had it growing up, except for we didn't normally put celery in it. But since we had some, let's get those extra veggies. So we're going to chop finely the carrots and the celery, put that into the pan with a little bit of butter or oil, depending on what cooking fat you have. Let's get those cooking together and then we're going to add in about a half teaspoon of onion powder and about a teaspoon of garlic powder. We'll let this continue cooking as we stir this all together and then we'll go ahead and add in about a teaspoon of salt, more or less to your taste, and then we'll add in about a half teaspoon of pepper, again, more or less to your taste. From there, we are going to add in about half of the container of chicken that we saved from our drumsticks. We're going to put that right into the pot and then we're going to add in about three cups of chicken broth. You can also use water or do a mixture of chicken broth and water. We'll give this a little stir and we'll make sure the heat is on high. Once it starts boiling, we'll add in about half of this package of rotini. We'll make sure to stir that occasionally just to make sure that all of the noodles soak up the broth. Here's what it looks like when it's done. You can definitely add more or less liquid. We just like it a little bit more stew-like. I also took some of that bread that we got on clearance, popped that into my air fryer with a little bit of butter and garlic powder. They turned out so crispy and they were perfect to dip into this soup. Here is the final dish. This was so tasty and brought me back to my childhood. This next one is a veggie and sausage bake, and I chopped up three potatoes. You can definitely do more if you want to, and I put them in a sprayed 9 by 13 baking dish, and then I added in about a cup and a half of chopped carrots. I had some garlic left over from a meal box kit that really needed to get used. It's been a theme this whole video, but waste not, want not. So we're going to add that in as well as half of an onion chopped up. And then here is the other half of my sausage. going to dice that into about quarter size chunks. And then I'm going to add a generous amount of olive oil. I did not measure this. I just poured until it looked good. Gave everything a good stir. So that way, once we started adding the seasonings in there, everything would coat evenly. Now I'm going to add about teaspoon and a half of salt, definitely more or less to your taste. And you can also add additional salt if needed at the table. And then I added in some pepper, 
and about a teaspoon of paprika. I also used some Italian seasoning here and then gave everything a good stir. If you don't have those extra spices, salt and pepper will taste just great with this. We're going to cover it and then put it into the oven that was preheated to 400 degrees and we're going to cook this for about 25 minutes covered. After 25 minutes, we're going to take it out of the oven, uncover it, and make sure to stir everything around. And then we'll go ahead and put it back into the oven for about 5 to 10 minutes until the potatoes are fully cooked and everything is crispy. This doesn't look like much, but trust me, this is one of the tastiest things we made. And we've made a lot of tasty things so far this week. I'm just sitting here eating this dinner. It's so good. Definitely should make this whether you're on a budget or not. The flavors are great. It tastes so good. You can mix up the veggies. Definitely recommend this one for you guys. We'll definitely be making this one again. It's gonna go in like the normal meal rotation just cause it was so cheap, so tasty. Everybody liked it. So hopefully you like it too. Tonight we are making a chicken and rice soup with the rest of the chicken. I'm using this garlic, like I said earlier, from that meal box kit that I needed to use up. Would have got some at the store, but they didn't have any of the conventional kind. So anyways, this only costs like 25, 30 cents if you wanted to add that into the budget and push it just a little bit over 20. And we're gonna use some rice, onion, celery, carrots, the chicken broth that we made. This buddy really wants the chicken, huh? Huh, Madsen? You're cute, but you're not getting any. It's for the soup. Yeah. Anyways, let's cook this all together and make some tasty soup. And we're going to have some bread alongside of it. Should be an extra delicious dinner. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of butter into my pan. And then I'm going to add in the other half of that onion that we hadn't used, diced up. Going to let that brown together for a little bit. And then once it's almost all the way translucent, we'll add in some garlic and the celery and get those cooking together. Next, we'll add in about a half cup of carrots that I diced in my food processor. I love this thing. It will be linked down below for you. Then we're going to add in two cups of chicken broth and one cup of water. We're going to mix this together and then add in the other half of the chicken that we pulled from the drumsticks. Then we will go ahead and add in our half cup of rice. Next, we're going to add in some salt and pepper, really just to taste. I would start around a teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper. And then if you have some dried parsley, go ahead and add a fourth teaspoon of that to the soup as well. We're going to let this boil. Once it has started boiling, we're going to turn the heat down to low and let this simmer for about 15 minutes. This soup was so good. If you have some cream and cornstarch, you could mix that together into a slurry for a creamier soup. This was really tasty and we'll definitely be making this one again sometime soon in the future. We also had some of that garlic bread that we had with the chicken noodle soup. We just used another half of the loaf and it was really, really delicious. We are doing leftovers tonight. We have a baked potato and some inside the potato some of the 15 bean soup, some of the chicken noodle soup, a very happy child in a messy living room over there, and some of the chicken and rice soup. And then over here, made some fresh rice, and we're gonna heat up whatever people feel like, and we'll have dinner. I had some of the 15 bean soup over rice, and my husband had some over potato. How do you like your leftovers? Are they good? Yes or no? Yes, great. Here is what we have left. We also still have some chicken broth as well, but these are, there's a half can of the tomatoes, a ton of celery. We'll probably chop this up and put it in the freezer or use it. Have a little bit of carrots that we can just snack on or put into a soup next week. Some onions, rice, beans. A lot of potatoes. We could easily do something with those. And we also have some rotini. Could definitely feed us for another meal or two with just a few things from the pantry, fridge, or freezer. And that's what we're going to do for next week's video. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. That's all for today. If you did enjoy, I'll be making a, another video next week using all of the items that I had 
left from this grocery haul and using a few things from my fridge, freezer, and pantry, and then also a small grocery haul as well to use up the rest of these ingredients so we don't waste anything. And if you liked this video and don't want to miss next week's video, hit that subscribe button and also give this video a like, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!